if we take a typical rental house and we say, okay, if we sell that in two years and say the market goes up 7% a year and we sell it for $400,000, we paid three fifty. dollars that's what it would be worth. We pay a realtor to sell it, we've got like closing costs, we have a monthly rental loss because we've been paying for this thing for two years, right? We've been supporting it ourselves. And there's, uh, we get some benefit from the mortgage reduction. So at the end of the day, we make $31,000 on a typical rental that way, even though we've lost money each month, right? And that's what a lot of investors look at, is they look at that. They think, what is going to be the end result? So we take that same one, we put it into the rent to own, and if we only use a 5% appreciation, not even a 7%, okay, so we're being, being safer, we sell it for 385, we purchase for 350, we have no, no realtor, because the sale just completes. Okay, we've got zero legal fees. We've got 600 in positive rent because we're making money each month. And we've got 7,000 in mortgage reduction. We're now up to 43,000. So we went from a 20% return of a rental property with all the headaches of tenants and management and all the variables and all the unknowns down to 27% and we do less. Right? Now that is working smart. 